Yo, what is going on guys? It is the X Factor DJ Hall here. And we are back with some Madden 19. As you see here, I am starting off as Coach Doug Peterson, the man who brought the Philadelphia Eagles to the Super Bowl and brought the Lombardi Trophy home. Now, as you have seen before in previous episodes, we have seen how the Cowboys would do with Earl Thomas. Now, this one is not as big of a deal as that one in my opinion because I think we already know who's starting. But we're going to see who would do better in the starting position. Carson Wentz, who is an 86, or the man who won the Super Bowl instead of the man who brought them to the Super Bowl. The man who brought them through the playoffs and to the Super Bowl and won the Super Bowl, Nick Foles. So as a base, I mean, we already know Nate Sudfield's going to be the starter anyway. So it doesn't really matter about these two. They might as well just cut them. But anyway, uh, we're going to see. With, we're going to test Carson Wentz first as a base, since that's probably who's going to end up starting anyway. So I'm going to go ahead and skip to let's skip the midseason and see if see midseason stats I guess. I don't know. But <laughs> I guess I should have turned the injury, injuries off. That would have been that might have been smart. I mean if somebody gets injured it's not my fault. That just tells you better. I mean, it wouldn't be unfair if, like, say, top receiver gets injured for wins and doesn't get hurt for falls and all of that. But we'll just figure it out as we go. So we are already to the regular season. I'll see you guys whenever we get to mid-season. So we are here at week 10. I forgot I had uh, automatic advancement on. So I may need to turn that off. But we are seven and one. Cowboys are four and four. That's actually better than any of the sins we've had so far with the Cowboys. So Carson Wentz has 1,990 yards. He's 18th in the NFL. I didn't get to see all that. Um, 1990. Uh, he's got a decent 80, 65, 85, 65. Completion percentage, my eyes are terrible. 14 passing touchdowns. And look at that, Nick Foles has two touchdowns on two completions for 16 yards. JJ, we don't really care about running backs right now, do we? And we really, Nelson that is your leading receiver. We don't really care about that. So, we're just here for Nick Foles and Carson Wentz. Tom Brady is right now your, uh, why is Bill... I know I'm saying Tom Brady is your MVP right now, but like in every simulation I've ever done, on screen, off screen, Bill O'Brien for like 30 years is the coach of the year. That's crazy. I mean, he's not coach of the year yet, but you know, it just doesn't make sense to me. So we beat the Falcons, beat the Bucks, beat the Colts, beat the Titans, beat the the Vikings lost to the Giants, beat the Panthers, and beat the Jaguars. And now we play the Cowboys, got the Saints, got the Giants, got the Redskins, got the Cowboys, got the Rams, got the Texans, and got the Redskins. So a bunch of divisional games coming up. So we're going to sim to the playoffs, and I will see you guys whenever we get there. We're here in the divisional round because I forgot to turn off the uh, auto sim. So we did make the playoffs. We got a first round by turn that to manual before I miss out on something again. We went 14 and 2. I saw that down there. Carson Wentz had a pretty good year. He had a decent year. I'll give him that. 4,190 yards. 311 completions on 453 attempts, 35 touchdowns, 9 interceptions, 68 pass completion percentage. Nelson Aguilar could not go over a thousand, but Mike Wallace did. And Jay Ajayi had a pretty good year as well. Your MVP of the season was Drew Brees. 
Carson Wentz was on here at number five. Ezekiel Elliott, Dak Prescott, Big Grant at number ten. Coach of the Year, Doug Peterson. Well, thanks, Bill, for proving me wrong. Uh, offensive Player of the Year, Carson Wentz is number seven. Best QB, Carson Wentz is number three. Who's the rookie of the year? Saquon Barkley is the rookie of the year for offense in the NFC. So we're going to send these one by one until we get eliminated or until we win the Super Bowl. So there's no reason for me to sign off for two seconds. <laughs> I say that now and we lose the immediate next game. Like we lost that game. In the top left corner, we lost at 21-14. Let's see how well Carson did in the divisional round. Carson Wentz went for 160 yards, two interceptions. That cost us the ball game, I'm sure. 25 yards was the longest pass. Never sacked. 14 completions on 27 attempts, which is almost on par with uh, Cam Newton. 51 completion percentage and 5.9 yards per attempt. Corey Clement was our leading rusher. I don't know what happened to... Um... Jay. Uh, I have no clue why Clement was our number one. Seven broken tackles is decently impressive. And we did not have a guy go over 50 yards. So the Pro Bowl is next week. We might as well see if Carson Wentz made the Pro Bowl before I sign off on this episode. Can Carson Wentz be a Pro Bowler without even winning a playoff game? Going 14-2 and two and being probably the disappointment in the uh, uh, playoffs, but he was the QB3 on the Pro Bowl next to Ben Big Ben, and I, I wish they'd do something better with the Pro Bowl, but maybe next year, maybe, probably not, knowing the EA, but in the Super Bowl, it is the, hold on, Chargers, Panthers, so the Panthers are the ones that put us out, Chargers are heavily favored by Madden, for some reason they have been for quite some time, in my opinion. So let's see if the Panthers can beat the Chargers and justify them putting us out. And I saw it, I hope y'all didn't see it. So I already know what happens. The Panthers got killed in the Super Bowl, 40 to 14. So that's that's all I've got for here today. Carson Wentz went 14-2 and two and made it to the divisional round in the playoffs. So let's see if Nick Foles can do it better in a future episode. I'll see you guys later. Hit that like button if you have not already. Subscribe if you're new. Turn on that notification bell so that you never miss an upload. And as always, thank you guys.